Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. You followed me. I wanted to know. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Please, Madison, don't ask any more questions. The less you know... That's for me to decide. What have they got on you, Ethan? What have you done? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I would love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. The box. I have to open another origami figure.
Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I... I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's, uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just a thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Nice to see Manfred again. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Well, to old friends. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, Oh, sure. Please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Thanks. Now, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. Hmm. Yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Hmm. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in uh, 64. Well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> now, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, 
If you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. I should take a look. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Oh my god! He's dead. Oh, god. Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. Scott? Oh my god! What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. I'm almost finished.
That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. But come on, let's go. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. The deal's off. I changed the rules. Whether you like it or not, you're going home. And I don't want to talk about it. That's it. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Your son is dead, Lauren. Getting yourself killed is not going to bring him back to life. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. Lauren! him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta f Hey! Take it easy, man, huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Nope. Money? Tell me what you need. Sure we can make a deal, huh? God, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you can come into my house and steal my dope? You're gonna be shooting up in hell, motherfucker!
Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Mad. Be careful. Okay. I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. I 
heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. Having some trouble? Didn't your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? <laughs> Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold tight. This might sting a <laughs> Have you ever noticed, as soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling? I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move, I won't be long. Hello, sir. I can't bring the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bible, which I would gladly leave with you, in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Ha ha ha!
Huh? <gasps>